first of all like to thank war for giving opportunity to be part of such a prestigious panelist so yeah before directly jumping to the core principle i like to you know touch base upon the zero trust uh, i guess uh, sir has already trusted upon the theoretical but i'll put it in a simple word it's nothing but a strategic approach in terms of cyber security wherein organizations secure themselves by eliminating implicit trust and making sure that they validate every digital interaction in other words we can say it's you know uh, unifies the manifest of all the cyber security facets basic assumption is don't trust anyone and make sure you authenticate validate devices applications networks end user what sort it may be so now jumping to the core question or principles uh, we or rather i have you know put it into four steps core principle for implement taking the zero trust framework i will say i won't say device i won't say platform i will say framework so first and foremost make sure you have defined your resource you have tag your resource which need to be protected of course which includes your data your applications your devices last but not the least your end users also who is going to access the application step 1 define it tag it step 2 make sure your communication is secure within the external network internal network that doesn't matter make sure that network communication is secured one how that can be achieved we have a lot of solutions and there are a lot of ways third principle i'll say it that <coughs> all the activities to be monitored and recorded monitoring is quite you know very often very common but we don't record we record only the alert so maybe something which is high achievable or something like that but we don't record the regular alerts because it consumes or oh, it involves cost also however if you are talking about zero trust then my third principle says all the activity need to be monitored and recorded last but not the least whenever i give the access to user it has to be for certain purpose and as soon as that purpose is achieved i will revoke that access so if i follow these four basic principles i guess i can implement any framework or zero trust framework at across organization to further simplify for a common layman in three words or three sentence zero trust framework i will keep it that please verify all users validate all the devices and intelligently limit the access i guess these three things will sum up the basic principle of zero trust or something uh, for further points i guess my esteemed panelists add some more points on this i guess sir has extensively covered the entire panel discussion topic and i should not consume more theoretical <laughs> stuff but i'll uh, try to give some you know different angle uh, pertaining to perimeter or what is perimeter or perimeterless kind of stuff perimeter kind of tech, uh, stuff or jargon i will say we used to use uh, during our security traditional securities way when we were confined to single network or maybe confined to a in house network we call it as internet or something like that so as soon as our interaction with uh, other world or our digital interaction i will say started because as we all know the scope or spread of data source devices started you know multifolds this perimeterless concept started or that has been invented that now we are not confined to my that particular boundary now it's perimeterless so i should be in a position to identify a bad guy or good guy if that is not possible if i am not able to identify between the bad guy and good guy then what is the solution or what is the framework zero trust authenticate validate everyone so my concept again or my submission regarding this concept to cut short yes it's very key when you are talking about perimeterless without or outside my boundary not confined to my internal limit i have to use this framework but yes there has been a, we have to strike a right balance because sir has rightly mentioned the example of ceo if i don't strike a right balance then entire thing will go for a toss so if i in start implementing n number of devices tools and i have a very pakka zero trust framework 
and my first page is taking 15 minutes to load my entire business will go for a toss because i am not doing i am not a police or a, just a gatekeeper to stop people and check i am here to do some business so striking a right balance between the convenience slash security and implementing the necessary six steps for framework is a key so that's my submission